I think two and a half hours of that movie was just insanity. I planned to spend 40 bucks on this event. I suck. The end of last week's vlog, I talked about how I fixed my sleep schedule and then I accidentally deleted the footage that I shot of the morning when I fixed my sleep schedule this morning. But I want to kind of recap what I was going to talk about. Anyway, so Tuesday is going to be a busy streaming day. I actually took Monday off. Um, I didn't stream tonight like normal because I wanted to have the day off. Just I haven't really been giving myself like a lot of days off recently. So I took the day for myself. I'm still going to add it a little bit before I go to bed though. Tuesday is a big day. Apex is having their new um, Bloodhound Town Takeover, so that means there's going to be a new kind of like PvE area inside of World's Edge, and there's going to be permanent duos and permanent Kings Canyon added into the game, which is amazing and something I've been asking for for a long time, and now Brooke and I can play by ourselves, and we actually do pretty good in duos, so that'll be a really fun change for the game for us. That being said, I'm really excited for the event. I'll be streaming that at night with Brooke, and then during the day, I'm not entirely sure what I'll be doing, um, but my my friend Joe, we might be playing Warzone because he's bored at home and uh, Warzone's free. So we're gonna give that a shot and see what he thinks about Warzone. Other than that, I'm doing a lot of streaming tomorrow. It's gonna actually gonna be pretty fantastic. I'm really excited. I'm hoping to get like a super long stream in, make some content, do some fun stuff, maybe get some viewers in, that'd be cool. I'll see you tomorrow maybe? I don't know. Howdy! It's been a week. I haven't filmed, like, at all. Today's Monday, which is, like, usually the last day I'll record something for this vlog. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't filmed, like, at all. I've streamed a lot, and I wanted to talk about a few things that I, I that isn't streaming. Well, to kind of, one, give this vlog some runtime, and two, update you on what's been going on. So, first of all, today, I'm making some classic mac and cheese. For myself, I've got my water boiling right now. Well, sorry, well, right now. Then I have to put the shit in and wait and whatever. But yesterday, <laughs> I watched Bad Boys 2. So a couple weeks ago, I watched Bad Boys. I don't remember if I talked about it on the vlog or not, but I watched Bad Boys a few weeks ago. Thought it was okay. Give it like a six out of 10, probably. Something like that. Uh, so I watched Bad Boys 2 last night, which is directed by Michael Bay. I don't know if the first one was. But boy, was this movie fucking ridiculous. It was two and a half hours long, which is way too long. Uh, there's a whole middle section that could have just been cut right out to make it a lot shorter, a lot tighter. I think two and a half hours of that movie was just insanity. Quite honestly, it could have been probably an hour and a half to an hour and 45 and been perfect. Honestly, it would have been a really good movie at that point. But there's just such like a boring two-fourths of the way in, the second fourth of the movie, just awful. Just boring as shit. If you had cut that out, probably would have helped that runtime a little bit and made it a lot better of a movie. That being said, it's still fine. Probably another six or seven out of 10. It was funny and it was a very 2005 comedy movie, action movie. It was shot all right. There was some weird, there's a lot of like very overt sexualization for especially by today's standards. So that was interesting, but it's, you know, it's a 15 year old movie at this point, so no one's surprised. So that being said, the last Bad Boys movie I have to watch is the new one. Bad Boys for Life, I believe is what it's called. Maybe at some point I'll talk about that on the channel as well. And then kind of the last thing I wanted to talk about while, um, while I put this in is the Old Ways event in Apex Legends. I was super excited for the Old Ways event. For Apex Legends. I had high hopes for it because the source in the Outlands was awesome. And it made me really, really hyped for there to be Young Bloodhound skins, the Return of Legendary Hunt skins, stuff like that. And I talked about, about how I wanted the Legend tokens to be used to get the new recolors of the skins and they might actually change it to that. They never did. Um, we're about a week in and they haven't said anything about it. People have been saying it in the, in the comments of their tweets and their Instagram posts, but uh, and, and even Reddit, but there's been no update whatsoever. And that's a real shame because uh, I was going to spend, I planned to spend 40 bucks on this event and I, I'm not going to. I'm probably not even going to end up buying any skins. Maybe the Bloodhound skin, also maybe not because there's a Watson recolor coming and I kind of want a legendary Watson skin because the only one I have is the one from the Battle Pass for this season. Set a timer for two and a half minutes. Okay. Event itself, 
is interesting. Uh, the trials being added, the town takeover, which I hope stays permanently, is fun, except for the part to where there's so many people going to it, you can't possibly survive it. And the problem is if you do, if you are the only team that lands there, by the time you finish the trials of killing all the prowlers, people will be on top of the building shooting downward at you with sniper rifles. So you will die. And even if you escape, they have the high ground on you, they'll win that fight. So you're basically trapped in there once you're in there. Um, which is a real bummer because I wanted to actually do the trials and the whole point of the trials is to show your strength teamwork But when you do all that and then immediately it's taken away by someone else who comes down and gets free loot It's kind of bullshit. Also, there's not really ammo or body shields like in there so you're kind of stuck with whatever health you happen to get on the drop, or if you loot the bins up top. And it's a real bummer. Uh, it kind of ruins the trials for me, and personally, I, I, I think they're awesome as a concept and a place, but in practice, because of the player base, it just doesn't work. I also think the skins on the store could have had a better rotation, or both Bloodhound skins should have been on the store the entire time. Eh. I don't... Whatever. Okay, so last thing I want to talk about was Modern Warfare. So Season 3 came out, and with that, it brought a lot of changes to the game and a lot of new stuff. Um, so I didn't finish the Battle Pass for Season 2. I didn't play it enough, though I played it quite a bit. I think I got to like 85 or something in the Battle Pass. I got close, but not close enough, unfortunately. For me, I think the Battle Pass is still not super worth it, unless you know for a fact you're going to play the entire time. There's not enough good uh, exclusive items in the Battle Pass for me to really care. Plus the items... Uh, the free the weapons you get are free anyway, so you don't actually need to buy it. So unless you're a big fan of having a different skin for your character, there's really no point. And plus, those are really only at the beginning and end. But uh, the new maps. Um, first of all, I I just got to play Candor Hideout for the first time the other day. Uh, even when it came out in season two, when I was playing, I never got it in the map rotation at all. Uh, mostly because we played other game modes. So I played Candor Hideout for the first time. I really like the vibe of that map. The bright colors, the it being like noon, the giant, the giant tower, the inside like the factory. I played it once. It was really cool. Um, I really want to play it more. The new maps though, which are the sawmill, the kind of the I don't know what the name of the map is yet, but the the streets, the city, and uh, the Anaya Incursion map. The Anaya Incursion map. If you don't like Anaya Palace, it's basically just the palace area. So. It's fine. I enjoy that the textures seem to be a little better uh, and the lighting is nicer on that map. I do semi enjoy the city map. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of unnecessary lanes um, that get you killed a lot and there's not much cover. Even though there's walls everywhere, every wall basically has another hole from it from a different wall. So you just get shot, crossfire a lot, and the constant going up in buildings and just sitting on top kind of takes away from the map. Though I like the feeling of it, and I think over time I might like it more, but there's also a chance I might make it less. Kovac Sawmill, however, I don't know if it's Sawmill. I think so. I love that place. It's fantastic, honestly. I really enjoy the way it plays. Um, it feels like a Call of Duty Black Ops map. It's got the three lanes thing going on, which a lot of people will say they hate, um, but I think there's plenty of cover in the three lanes that, I don't know, I just really like. The colors pop, it's very vibrant. We've got you know, blues, reds, greens, yellows, the white of the rocks. I really, really like the map. Um, the way it's laid out, the parkour you can do to get on roofs and stuff. I think that's really cool. And that map is probably one of my favorite maps in the game now, um, next to Hackney Yard and Shoot House and Shipment. Hi, it's Thursday the 16th and I'm finally editing this vlog. So I'm gonna go through this week's totals like usual, and I didn't add part of it. Fuck. Okay, so here we go. Monday was only 10 minutes. I didn't do anything really last Monday, I just filmed. Uh, Tuesday was six hours and 27 minutes. Uh, Wednesday was two hours and 33 minutes all streaming. Sorry, two, uh, Monday was all streaming as well. Thursday, five hours, 18 minutes, three hours, three minutes of streaming, and uh, about two hours, 15 minutes of editing and all that fun stuff. Friday was four hours, 54 minutes, all streaming. Saturday was three hours, 39 minutes of streaming, and uh, Sunday was five hours, 49 minutes of streaming. Uh, adding up to a not so grand total of 28.8 hours or uh, 17.30 minutes. So not great, and here's why. Quite honestly, uh, a little bit of burnout has been tinging at me 
because I've been doing just so much streaming. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it's a lot harder to stream. I talk about this in, in next week's vlog as well. It's a lot harder to stream when there's no one watching. And because of Happy Goat not watching and no one really popping in chat, um, it's gonna be a lot less motivation to keep streaming. And it really sucks. In fact, my motivation's kind of plummeting overall the past week or two. I don't really know why. Maybe because of the quarantine and, and just other life stuff. I expected to be over 30 hours. So, this is a little disappointing. It is what it is, unfortunately. So with that, if you want to follow me on Twitch, I stream basically every day. Um, check that out, link down below, both Twitch and Mixer. You can follow my social medias. Uh, you can subscribe and hit that bell if you want to watch more videos on here. Follow my gaming channel, Indecence, link down below as well. Uh, and I have a bunch of other stuff down there, check it out. That's it, thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here, and I'll see you later. Take care. Oh